Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video on Auto Hockey Studio, we're going to talk about um, jumping between, um, let's see, uh, functions, labels, go subs, classes, and instances of classes. And so there's a really, really cool functionality, especially if you have a long script or, or you're, you've broken your functions out into separate files. Um, and what you can do is let's, let's pick this example. So here's funk and it's um, actually, sorry, let's, let's comment that out for now just to we just disregard it. My funk is down here, right? We can see it. Now, if, if I'm anywhere on it and I hit Alt F1, it will jump down to it. And just imagine if this is thousands of lines long, right? It, it jumps down to it. I can also hit my Alt key and left arrow to go back to where I was. So it's very quick to, to move, toggle, move between places. Um, if I'm in a, if I have a subroutine, right? I, again, I can hit Alt F1 and it jumps down to the subroutine wherever it is, right? This is Again, within one long script, it's really helpful. Um, now, if I have um, like this file, uh, this this function is actually it's in um, my lib folder under this script. Now, when I hit Alt F1 here, it it can't jump to it, and that's because I didn't use an include. Um, so this is the one thing. So you don't, in order for it to work, right? If I don't have this include and I still run it. Um, that's funny. I thought the function would have. Anyway, it's in that function. Let me. Well, let's let's look at it real quickly because I thought I passed passed what gets returned there. Yeah. Why isn't that showing the the value? I don't know. B func. Anyway, whatever. Um, but it's in. That's it. That's the message box from that function. Um, but it it doesn't get. I can't jump to it. Um, it'll run fine. You can put files in your your um subfolder called lib or you can put it in your library um they run fine but for studio to um to jump to it it can't do that because it's not it hasn't been included so what you need to do is have it included um, and then refresh like you can hit alt r refresh and i refresh the current project i, ch I put a hotkey called control r now notice under test right function is there and now when I'm in here and I hit Alt F1, it'll jump to that file, right? So this is this is why I love it because then I don't have to go find which, you know, imagine if you have 20 files includes and you're like, where was this function? I don't know. And then all I have to do again is hit Alt back arrow or left arrow and it jumps me back where I was. So um, really slick, easy way to be able to navigate and jump around your scripts. Um, I, I use this Alt F1 a lot. It's a little hard for me to reach. I, I, I probably should... Um, change the hotkey to something a little more convenient, but it's still, it's super helpful. Um, and you can use them for the functions, labels, go subs, classes, and instances. All right. Thanks.